Hi guys, you are on varam24.com and today we will disassemble Realme 9. At the very beginning we need to pull out the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the tray for two SIM cards and memory card. By the way, for work we can use anti-static gloves or anti-static wristband. So, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 65-70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. As we can see the temperature is rising to the temperature we need. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can proceed to the assembly. To open the back cover we will use a plastic film. It is a protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it lengthwise separating the covers. Always be careful around the side buttons because in this area there may be a cable and it can be damaged. Also we need to be careful in the area of the cameras. Let's see that there is nothing in the way and open the back cover. There is nothing on the cover. And we move on to unscrewing the screws on the top and bottom using a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 o The screws are all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface and easy to remember order for reassembly. Ok, and we can detach the middle cover. We use plastic film, we run the film into the gap near the hole of the card tray and gently run it along to detach the clips. We need, as always, be careful in the area of the side buttons, on the corners and in the area of the cameras. And we detach the middle cover. On the cover we have the contact pads and antenna tracks, transmission lines. We disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. And we move on to disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable, the connector of the interboard cable, the connector to the display. We can detach the speaker. Gently hook around the edge and pull out the speaker. Then we can disconnect the connector of the second interboard cable and the connector of the fingerprint sensor. Then gently hook by the edge or other convenient place and leave the subboard.
On the soundboard we have charging port, microphone, headphone jack port and the other elements on the inside. Please note that in the hole for the microphone is a membrane and the channel in the display frame is located perpendicular to the microphone itself. Therefore, it will be quite difficult to damage the microphone. And in the display frame, we are still left with a fingerprint sensor, vibration motor and microphone hole. After that, we disconnect the connectors of the two interboard cables on the motherboard. And we can detach the front camera, which is traditionally glued on the copper heat dissipating foil. It is important not to damage it. After that, we detach the three rear cameras. The cameras are glued to the bottom and it is better to hold them by the body so as not to damage the lenses. Then we disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable and release the cable itself from the clips, fixing it on the motherboard. After that, we find a convenient place, hook over the edge and take out the motherboard. On the inside, we have the copper foil and thermal paste. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We unwrap the transparent coating and green tab, which we need to pull on. With one hand we hold the display frame and with the other hand we pull the green tab upwards to remove the battery. As we can see, the battery is also held on the transparent protective coating, which protects the interboard cables. So this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until the next video.